are more mellow, apparently. I've never had a cat before. And now since we started fostering, we've had like 10 cats in our houses just in the last like seven, eight months. All the cats that I fostered are from random people. When you're fostering an animal through an organization, the nice thing is normally the organization pays for everything. They bring the food at the beginning, they bring the water bowls, they bring the cat box, they bring everything. Um, all you need to do is make them happy and that way the foster cat gets used to being with the family so it's easier to adopt later. So it depends if you're just taking it from the street, like our first cat, Chairman Meow, we took from the street. We needed to do the vaccinations. So the first cat is very expensive, like food, yeah. pooping, time, expensive, but the second cat is nothing. Third cat is nothing. All the cats are so funny. One of them is Chairman Meow, which is the one that we found walking home one day in Singapore. It's just like meowing like he was gonna die. So well, I took it home and that's just how he meows. When he wants something or he's annoyed, he sounds like he's dying. He's just like, Meow! and I was like, oh my God, this cat's dying. And now I'm like, you have a perfect life. You have no problems and you're still meowing. <laughs> I think it's 6,000 dogs. It could be 6,000 dogs and cats are killed every single day because they're put in shelters. So 6,000 dogs, nice friendly dogs, dead. Every single day because nobody adopts them. So I always say to people like, if you buy a dog from a breeder, that's the same as killing a dog because one dog is dying because you didn't adopt it. If you actually love animals, you will adopt them.